On to India now, the new epicentre of the global pandemic. After a record number of cases and deaths were recorded for a second day in a row. Well, that surge in infections is putting pressure on the country's healthcare system and some doctors have resorted to social media pleas for more supplies. Many families have been left pleading for their relatives who are desperately ill, with some patients left untreated for hours. Well, let's cross live to Sky's special correspondent, Alex Crawford, who's outside Teg Bahadur Hospital in Delhi. Um, Alex, uh, an extraordinary situation in uh, Delhi and right across the country and still no I'm national lockdown. Interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to show you what's going on here. Look, at least three dead bodies being taken away within the last few minutes. We've only been here a few hours and we've seen, what, half a dozen people die in front of us outside here whilst they've been waiting to get treatment. We've spoken to people who are absolutely distraught, who are begging for oxygen, who are calling on the government to help, who are calling on anyone to help. There's people lying out here in the open who are attached to oxygen tanks, um, and they're the lucky ones, to be honest. They are the lucky ones, some of them still waiting. One, of the, one man told me that his brother waited for six hours to get oxygen just on one of these gurneys out here. He got oxygen and died within minutes of receiving it. It was just too late. It is an absolutely desperate situation here. This is the casualty area. This is just the area where people are trying to be admitted into the hospital, which is already full to capacity. One of the people inside whose mother is being treated told us that there were seven oxygen tanks to 70 people. So there's a general feeling of great desperation. This man here who's lying on the ground there, still gasping, we spoke to him earlier. He's been waiting for at least five hours to be admitted into casualty where they will assess whether he can be admitted into the hospital. Let's have a chat to one of the relatives of the patients. Trusha, we spoke to you earlier about yeah, yeah. a very desperate situation in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, who do you feel is to blame for all of this? To blame? Actually, it's really very, actually, it's really very easy mm -hmm. to blame anyone. But if there is one primary source of lack of mismanagement here, that is the Delhi government, the state government. Because mm -hmm. these hospitals, are the responsibility of states. These are the resources of states. And whenever a disaster comes, the government should always support its citizens. But earlier you were telling me you saw there was lots of blame at lots of different people. You blamed yeah. the government, you blamed the people, yeah. you blamed you the lack of organization. Yeah, tell me, tell me, who, who do you blame? What are your thoughts now? You've got your mother in there. You've yeah. already got your father who's ill. No, 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 my father is not ill. OK, impressed. right. Yeah. Come, tell me, what's the situation like in there? Tell me what your thoughts are. The situation is not good. It's worse, actually. But I would like to make it clear that the situation is going to be more worse if the authorities and government do not listen to us. The, the, state of, of, the status of oxygen is that oxygen is available for only the patients who are inside, not for the patients who are coming new. Mm. And actually, sorry to interrupt you, but here's someone here at the moment being brought in on... Um, uh, and this is what we've seen happen over and over again whilst we've been here at this hospital. They, they come arrive in a terrible state. We saw one woman earlier who arrived and within minutes she was declared um, dead and had passed away. They are arriving here very, very late and telling us that they've been to several hospitals before coming to this one. There's no dignity in a lot of um, the admissions here. There's no dignity in death here. Um, and there's a lot of very distraught relatives, a lot of you know, someone else who's, who's being wheeled away. Many of these, these patients are dying before they actually get help. And the city, it seems, the capital of India is being overwhelmed. And this is one of the biggest hospitals in the capital. So there's a, a large suspicion and worry 
that the actual really, really high figures are very underreported, actually, way out in the countryside and in the rural areas. And this is the worry that even with these astronomical figures and with this blame being apportioned to the government for um, holding political rallies, for instance, for allowing the Kumba Mela festival, the religious festival, which 10 million people have been attending, to go ahead, is, is responsible for this massive spike. And they just did not anticipate this second wave, which, as one commentator put it, has turned into a tsunami. Alex Crawford reporting on the desperate situation in India there. And those